Hey, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a quick comparison of the new nested layouts that was introduced in Nexus 13. And I want to compare that with uh, Remix, who has had a lot of the same uh, nested routing features a year ago when I believe it was released. All right, so what I have for you guys is pretty much I built a very simple application, both in Remix and Next 13 to kind of compare uh, what does the routing code look like. So you can see I have on the home page just a link to blog posts. Within that is a list of posts. I can click into that and see uh, an individual post. And then there's also a link to show something that's nested in this page, right? So we're going to take a look at how the code differs between Next and Remix for this very simple app. All right, since I'm showing two different code bases, so for Remix, I'm going to show, you'll see that it's wrapped in this red border. And then for Next, it's going to be in blue. All right, so just remember Remix red, Next blue. All right, so how did we create that application earlier using Remix? You can see in the file system here that with Remix, you have you know folders for paths. However, you also have index.tsx, which marks the uh, the index route for that path. So for example, the the home of our application with just a base slash that shows the blog posts has this index.tsx in it. And then as we uh, navigate into slash posts, there is a posts folder and there's an index in there as well, which acts as the you know slash posts index route. And you can see that in this code, you know, we have uh, just a list of posts. Now pay attention to how we're loading data in Remix. We're using this loader function. And this is something that I'll compare with uh, Next.js's server components. But notice that in order for us to get the correct, you know, type for this posts object or array, we had to basically add a typecast here of loader data, which you see we defined up here. And this is something that is a little bit better on the next side, as you'll see in a little bit. But let's keep moving for now. So this page at slash posts is listing out, you know, a link to each post. And the way you define the, you know, the next path, right, is we're saying, all right, slash post slash slug is represented by the slug.tsx. And that's just rendering the, the slug itself. And then later on, you can see that there's an outlet in here that allows it to render the thing that is uh, nested within it. So within the slug folder, sort of the next in the path is a very basic nested component that is just saying I am nested and that's being rendered via this outlet, right? Kind of pretty simple, makes sense. All right, now let's switch over to the Next.js application. I'm actually going to run this one just so you can see that this is effectively the same exact application. All right, so you can see here now we're running the Next 13 app uh, instead of the Remix app. So it looks exactly the same except that on the home page it says Next 13, but it functions pretty much the same exact way where we have blog posts here and then we have a list of posts and I can uh, drill down into the individual posts. Now, the only difference here right now is when I click into show nested, you'll see that it doesn't nest the same way as it did with Remix. Uh, we're going to refactor this later so that it, it acts the same way, but I want to show sort of what's weird about it. But first, let's take a look at how the code looks compared to the Remix app. All right, so following the same flow from the index page, when we click into posts, it ends up navigating into our you know our code over here under the app directory so you can see we also have a posts folder that part is pretty similar to remix however a, a big difference is uh, instead of them having you know an index.tsx you specifically have to have a page.tsx which says uh, this is the page component for this route so you can see here we have a similar code where we have a list of posts but so remember we talked about how in remix it's using the the loader function with uh, Next.js 13, they're introducing server components, which is the interesting thing about it from, from my impression is that you can do something really cool here. You can see that with data, you can just await a, an async function. And that comes with all the TypeScript goodness. You can see that posts here has the correct type already. We didn't have to do any any typing it's able to just infer what this is without any extra logic or typing 
right? So ergonomically, I, I really like that. And I'm interested to see what different code bases will look like when they start utilizing this pattern, right? So now in Next.js, there's a distinction between what is a server component and what is a client component, which I'll also show a quick example of. Uh, but another thing to pay attention to here, notice that with uh, another difference is the linking. Notice that here we had to define sort of what's the parent path of, of the link that we're getting into compared to remix. If you go to posts here, you can see that we just provide the path that the next path. So it's able to kind of infer what is the parent path. That's something that's a little bit different, but let's keep going, right? So if a person clicks into one of these uh, links, we then go into a slug, right? The slug in the URL in next yes, similarly, right? We define a folder for that next path. But same thing, you have to provide a page.tsx in there to represent what is the, the, the component that's going to get rendered when they go to that path. Now, here's an example of a client component in Next.js. We have to provide the use client. And notice here that uh, there's this hook that we can use, use path name to get that parent path with links. However, this is only available on uh, client side components. So that's why we're using uh, use client. All right, so from here, let's talk about the nested, right? So we have that link that takes you to the nested part. So you can see here, show nested, and it's going here. And we said we're going to fix that to, to be sort of the same as with Remix. But you notice that here we have a page component that has that same thing uh, that ideally it's, it's rendering right here, right? This is where the nested uh, route is supposed to render. However, you can't do this with page components in Next.js 13. Uh, instead, what we have to do is introduce a layout component, right? And I have X in here just so that it doesn't uh, work right now. So I'm going to rename this to uh, just layout.tsx. And that does allow uh, taking in a children, which is basically how they are doing uh, outlets. It's the same thing with Remix, but they're doing it via children. Uh, but the weird thing here is, you know, this is sort of like the same code as what we had in page before, but now we actually have to just render null here, but I'll talk about this in a little bit. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go take a look at our application and see that it's working the same as before compared to the remix app. So you can see we have our list of posts. I can click into each of those posts. And then now if I click nested, it's rendering it over here as we expected. Let's quickly talk about, you know, from my impressions, what's not so great about this. Uh, for me with the Remix app, if we go back to the slug here, you know, it this still worked, the, the same file still worked. And all we needed to do to allow that nested uh, piece is to just bring in this outlet. It kind of just magically, you know, worked. We allowed it to, you can move this around as you want. However, in next, we had to refactor basically our code to uh, from a page to a layout and you even have to have this page that TSX to return null uh, Because otherwise it's gonna 404 on the if you just have The path without the nested so to kind of just summarize let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two code bases So a big thing to notice when we have them side-by-side -side here is with the file structure notice that with next.js 13 uh, with the app folder every page is called page.tsx. Whereas in Remix, you have, you know, index as you might expect from an index route, but then anything that's nested within that, for example, you know, if you have a dynamic path, like a slug, or notice here we have nested, you're able to have differing names. So for example, if, if I were just trying to quickly find where's my nested page, right? I'm just going to do search nested and I can say, all right, it's got to be this one, the nested.tsx. Whereas in Next.js, if I were to try to find that same nested page, I can still type nested in the search bar. However, uh, you got to make sure you're pulling in the, the page at TSX. Or similarly, you could search for page, but then you got to pay attention to the path here to make sure you're pulling in the correct component. So, so slight differences there in how you might find files. So I think that comes down to preference. Uh, but I think uh, a thing that's really interesting to compare again is the how you load data, where I think with server components on Next.js, 
where we can just await like this within the, the server component, I think is going to be ergonomically better for most people, again, because of you get this end to end uh, type inference, which is pretty amazing, especially if you use this with something like Prisma. I think that's going to be really cool. And then comparing how you create, you know, nested layouts, you can see that with uh, Next.js, we obviously have the layout TSX. Again, for every nested layout that you have, you're going to have a file called layout.tsx, kind of just like with, with page. So it, it, it suffers from that same thing of having several files of the same name. Whereas in Remix, you can see here that we have sort of the file that's at the same level as the folder with the same name. And this effectively acts as your, your layout component. Again, uh, you're able to utilize the, the outlet there. To me, this is a little bit better ergonomically. I don't, I don't know if anybody cares about that kind of stuff, but I can see a, a Next.js 13 app or whatever the future is when this is generally available. I feel like it's going to be very bloated with, you know, several pages and layouts and, you know, same thing for head. If you need to change like the title, uh, you can't use the, the head component anymore. You got to define this, this head thing. And then I, I don't have an example here. Same thing for errors with remix. Usually with, uh, components or pages, you can define your error boundaries right in the component itself. Whereas in uh, next, you, same thing, you got to define like an error uh, TSX or something like that. So with next, you end up with a lot of components uh, if you have very nested things. So there you go. That's a very quick comparison of the two uh, code bases. Um, anyways, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me today. Really quick video and I uh, hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, how's it going? Today, I'm going to do a very quick comparison of the new Nest.js Next. <laughs> uh, the new Next.js 13 nested, Next .js nested layouts. I'll also show you some of the new uh, data fetching capabilities that you can do in Remix 13. Next 13.